Hello everybody, Lightning Spirit 78 here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. I gotta stop saying that instead of Twilight Princess. I'm hoping I'm not saying that in my intro of previous episodes. I don't know yet. Anyway, if we talk to Mel and she's singing a pretty song now that it's night. And she's like, are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Tee hee hee hee. Actually laughs like tee hee. Said Niga Higa. Tee hee. But anyway. Uh. So. Oh yeah. If you'll, if you'll look for him, I'll give you this. And she's incubating an egg very closely. And we get. The weird egg. It feels like something's moving inside. What happens if we set if we bleh, set it to see? Well, if you set it to see, nothing's going to happen. However, pff, fail. If we wait till the rise of the sun, aka morning, uh, the little cuckoo inside the egg will hatch. However, if you get this in the daytime, um, you have to wait until the next daytime. However, for it to hatch again. So it's not like it's a 12 hour thing now. It's a, not really glitched, but if you get it at night, you get it in the morning. If you get it in the morning, you have to wait till the next morning. Kind of odd, I know. All right, let's get past these guards. Stay outside the perimeter. Uh, please tell me I'm doing this right. Oh god, I mistook those butter... Oh, oh, that's right, the chicken can't do anything. A chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's a miracle of life. Oh yeah, I thought the chicken was gonna like scream me up there. I was like, no, the chicken! But, um, <laughs> oh, this right here I think I should introduce. Later, whoa, close up. Later on, when we get a something in particular, you'll see what I'm talking about later. Um, this is basically called a gossip stone. It does many odd things. Uh, very funny things too. Uh, what the? Oh, it tells you the current time of day if you hit it with your sword. But it also does many other things. I tell you trivia about the game, trivia about Hyrule itself, and the characters that you meet within Hyrule. Um, they can also, well, they also do many funny things. Some, like, some of which I'll just have to wait until I like, get certain items of which I can use those. Like, uh, certain items I can use on those things. To show you the funniness. Anyway, but, yeah, those things are nice trivia, but you can't read them. Until you get a certain item, which is part of a side quest, which is kind of long, but kind of... No, I wouldn't say necessary, but oh well. Anyway, we find a sleeping guy here. And he's sawing logs. Yay. And he's talking about a ranch, so he must be the ranch owner. Fail. I wanted to lock onto him. Now let's use the dang chicken. What in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shout out around here? Speak to him again. Hello, who might you be? Yeah, I'm Talon, owner of the Long Arm Ranch. I went to the... <laughs> the way I said that, the first thing that popped into my head is, I'm Doug Dimido, I'm Doug Dimido, owner of Dimido Dimido. Or whatever it was. Anyway, yeah, he was, import he was importing milk into town. Uh, yeah, so, Melon is not really mad at him, but he thinks he is. I missed a bell, leaving my little behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Dare run, man, run! He's afraid of his ten-year-old daughter. That's amazing. It seems ten-year-olds hold the true power in Nintendo. Ten-year-olds go off on adventures. They raise Pokemon. They buy the majority of their games. But anyway, if we push these crates aside. Come on, Link. Do you mind doing this a little bit faster, please? Come on. Push that down there. And now we need to get this other one. Make sure you do this before nightfall. Just take my word for it, please. Because if you don't do it before nightfall, the thing that we need to get into, it'll close. And we can't get into the castle until morning. So, yay. Alright, so let's get this done here. Yeah, day and night cycles are nearly as long as they were in Twilight Princess. That's, like I said, why I didn't bother with the pose. Gold sculptures, I should, I should, uh, yeah. Gold sculptures, I should know, to right now are affected by day and night. However, if you get a certain item, which we will be either getting in this episode or the next, or not a certain item, a certain thing, that we'll be getting in this episode or the next, it'll be absolutely no problem for you. 
So I kind of had, wish they had it in Ocar not Ocarina, in Twilight Princess. But hey, we can't all have things. Okay, sneak past the guards. This is basically a mini game. These can get kind of tense. I, I'll admit, ah. I don't think they have very big range of view, like a very long range with their sight, but I don't know, they kind of concern me away in a little bit. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. They get trickier, too. And I see rupees down there, but I'm not going to go for them, because that is really risky. Actually, what I'm doing right here is pretty risky, too. Walk across, don't fall, please don't fall. If you fall, they will kick you out. Or, actually, if you fall, they'll spy you and kick you out. Uh, let's just run and roll. Okay, now it's getting a little tricky here. We got two of them. That one's coming up behind. Eek. Come on, one should be a little bit faster than the other. At least that's what I thought. Come on, boys. I don't have all day. There's such a thing as a YouTube time limit, you know. Okay, let's trail behind this one. Very, very carefully. Like, really carefully. Come on. Keep luring. Thank you. Okay, this one, in many, many people's opinions, is the hub of a hardest one of all, but uh, I don't find it that bad. Watch me screw up to. Okay. Basically you just gotta wait until one of them get all until they get on one side. Sneak up behind him. Come on, move. Keep it moving. Nothing to see here. I'm just a boy from the forest. Nothing to see. We're gonna keep on going. And we're here! We don't have to worry about getting spot anymore. Yes. Anyway, let's see. I'm gonna get out my slingshot. For funny reasons. Okay, if you go into first person view, and shoot this window with the slingshot. Hey! Don't cause any trouble! Oh my god! Yeah, he throws a bomb at you for throwing a slingshot at the window. Yeah. Let's see, is this the windows? Nah, no, nah, it's over here. Now this is kind of cool. Actually, this is really cool. Go over here. Look. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. Let's get a better angle. Look, it's a me, a Mario, and the Princess of Peach, or Toadstool at this time, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Considering this game came out in '96. Or actually, no, did it come out? No, it came out in 98. Mario 64 came out in 96. What am I talking about? Over there we got Bowser and behind the post is Yoshi. Yeah, Nintendo hates Yoshi so much they put him behind a post. We've barely even seen. Oh no, wait, that's Luigi! Boy, they really hate Luigi and uh, Yoshi. Yoshi's on this side. Okay, I never saw Luigi before. Anyway, let's talk to the princess. Zelda! How do I know that's Zelda? I just do. Who? Who are you? And how did you get past the guards? Well, you see, I uh, kind of knocked them out one by one. Now, um, oh, what's that? Is that what that little blue annoying puffball floating around me? Yeah, that's a fairy. Yep, I just said that. Then, are you from the forest? Then. Then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? It's that green shining stone. Well, we kind of do. So, let's say we do, just because. Just as I thought. I had a dream. And in this dream, dark clouds... Dark... Baby, I can't talk. Dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest. Part of the clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought it might be you. Or, yeah, you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. And what is your name? Link? Yeah, I guess some people actually theorize that he actually said his name, but I don't know. Those three dots were him talking, but I don't know. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. No, uh, couldn't be that the fact that we just ended Twilight Princess. No, no. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the, of the sacred realm that has been passed down by my by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone, okay? The legend goes like this. And we're going to get the exact same story the Deku Tree told us. Yay! The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been foretold. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from the evil ones. Oh, crap. Um... Oops. Uh, basically what Zelda was saying is that we need to protect the Triforce. For many ages, the, tri the Sacred Realm has been hidden in the Temple of Time. The Temple of Time will not open. In order to open the Temple of Time, we needed three spiritual stones. The spiritual stone of the forest, the mm, fire and water, a.k.a. The Kokiri Emerald, Goron Ruby, and Zora Sapphire. And they also need the Ocarina of Time to open up the Sacred Door. Sorry, but the buttons are really touchy, and if you press the B button, then, yeah, you kind of skip a lot of text. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not pretty good. Wait, what? No! I told it. <sighs> yes, I understood. That's great. I forgot to tell you. Yeah, yeah, I hope you understood my, uh, paraphrasing. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window? Yes. What, he looks like any other dude to me- Wait, I recognize him! Can you see the man with the evil eye? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from a desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not of sis- he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream? They must symbolize that man. Okay, when he looked at me like that the first time I played this, like, when I was, I don't know, I don't know, it just kind of made me jump. I don't know why, but anyway. He just, don't worry, he saw you, he doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Look at these flowers, they are so 2D in a 3D atmosphere. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But, I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. Nah, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please! Uh, well... I guess okay. Thank you. I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. How do you know this, though? Seriously, how do you know this? He hasn't shown any sign of power. They need a better backstory here. But it's fortunate that you have come. I mean, it's mostly just like, hey, he has terrifying power. How do I know this? I just do. Let's beat him up. Yay! We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I mean, I know his her, her like intuition is correct, but whatever. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. You shall not have it. You, 
Go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. Something just fell. Yay. It's a box of pencils. Oh, crap. We are running out of time. So in the next episode, we will take Zelda's letter and depart for our next destination. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.